Eastern Door publisher Kenneth Deere has seen several UN initiatives and declarations come and go, and in some cases linger throughout the years. Deere was in Geneva, Switzerland last week attending a UN conference. Mohawk TV spoke to Deere regarding his involvement and upcoming trip back to Geneva. Pleased to have co-sponsored the resolution that established the expert mechanism in December 2007. Uh, so, Kenneth, I understand that you uh, just got back from a trip from uh, Geneva again. Tell us, what was your role uh, while you were there? Well, w what's happening is that the, uh, the United Nations is having a, um, a, a conference on, a world conference on racism in, uh, in April of this year. And uh, before you have a, uh, a world conference, there's, there's preparatory meetings to, to, to decide the, the text of the announcements that are going to be made in the, at, at that world conference. So that's, we were, I was at, the, uh, at uh, a conference in Geneva to work on that text uh, and uh, fighting to make sure that indigenous rights are protected in, the, in, 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 this, in this declaration. One of the fortunate things, though, is uh, that Canada is, is boycotting uh, the issue, so, so they're not in the room, you know. Canada, United States, and Israel are, are, are boycotting the process so far. So um, uh, two of the countries that voted against the declaration, Canada and United States, are not there. So that helps us uh, because uh, they tend to be very obstructionist when it comes to the rights of indigenous peoples. You know. Don't even like to use the term peoples. Uh, so we, uh, so we're, we're lucky in, in, in that sense. Now you, that. you spoke of another issue of, of, uh, about the UPR. Can you explain what that is? And uh, right. <clears throat> There's a link, I guess, to the, uh, it's called the Universal Periodic Review, which uh, this, uh, this is a new process within the United Nations. And every uh, member nation of the United Nations has to have their human rights record reviewed. That's why it's called the Universal Periodic Review, and it's all it's a peer review. So, it's other governments uh, are are the ones that uh, look at their human rights records. And um, Can it was Canada's turn this past Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. in Geneva. Uh, Canada was uh, was on the hot seat, and uh, there was a lot of countries that 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 wanted to to ask questions. There were 45 governments that asked questions about on Canada's human rights uh, uh, record, and 30 of those countries mentioned the rights of indigenous peoples to, to, to Canada. So it was really interesting. Um, you know, Canada was on the hot seat, and Canada was, was criticized for, for uh, uh, some of the uh, for its human rights record, particularly when it comes to indigenous people. So you will be heading back to Geneva in... A next Saturday. Of, next, next week. So Saturday the 14th, I go back. The, the, the racism, uh, when I was at the racism uh, uh, prep com uh, uh, two weeks ago, we didn't finish the work. There were, there's still 100 paragraphs still to be, to be debated. And uh, so they, they had called an extra meeting, an extra four days of meeting. So, uh, um, so I, I got you know I have a mandate uh, from the Longhouse to go back to, to, to continue this this work, and uh, we'll uh, um, uh, you know and I got you know fund the funding. So the uh, so I'll be there for four four days uh, protect uh, to protect the, the rights the rights the rights of the rights of indigenous peoples, and then go back again uh, to the World Conference itself, which will be in April in, in Geneva.